Eddie and the supermarket. Shopping with Eddie was a nightmare. I lift Eddie up and squeeze him into the seat on the shopping trolley. In you get little fella, so he goes rigid. He turns himself into a little fat iron bar that can't be bent. I can't push his legs through the spaces. In you get Eddie, push. I said, in you push, get Eddie, squeeze. Slowly he lets his legs relax and I unbend them and thread them into the trolley and off we go. We're wheeling past the baked beans and he leans out and grabs a can. Bints, more bints. No, Eddie, we don't need any more beans. Bints, 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 bints. No, we don't need any beans. Bints, bints, bints. No beans, Eddie. We're heading now for the Kit Kats, Penguins, Topic Bars, Crunches, Milky Ways. He stops shouting, bints, 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 and leans out of his seat, arms waving. We whiz round the corner of the packs of chocolate wafers and his chunky little hand grabs a packet. Whee, chocolate, whee. We're going to take that packet back, Eddie. We're going to take that packet back. Then there is an explosion. My chocolate, my chocolate, my chocolate. He turns into the little fat iron bar again. In front of my eyes, he becomes a screaming demon, head flung back, face going red, eyes getting swollen, back stiff, hands punching out, body heaving to and fro. A woman is looking at me and saying to herself, you're a torturer, you're horrible to babies. My chocolate, bins, bins, bins. Some people walk about pretending nothing is going on, but I can tell. They're in pain. The noise of Eddie is getting into their bones. People are moving away from us. There's a man over there hurrying to get to the kitchen rolls. Eddie is wrenching the bars off the trolley. Chocolate beans, my chocolate beans. I want some kitchen rolls too. So the man who's trying to get away from me thinks he's being hunted by Eddie. Then one of the shelf stackers tries to be friendly. He looks at the screaming blob called Eddie and winks and does some useless trick with his finger and says, oh, it's not that bad, little one. Thank you, shelf stacker, brilliant finger move. She is making a fuss, isn't she? Says our jolly shelf stacker. Eddie is veering about so much, the shelf stacker can't even tell it's a boy. Bins, 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 chocolate, chocolate, chocolate. I want to yell my head off too. I want to run around the supermarket waving my arms about screaming bints, bints, bints. I want to sit in someone's trolley and bend bars and drop baked bean cans on the floor and grab chocolate biscuits and drive my dad crazy. Then the security men arrive. They've come to collect the money from the cash registers. There's four of them. They're huge in big padded blue uniforms with crash helmets on, truncheons in their belts. This is my chance. Eddie. Look who's come to get you. He looks, he looks, and he stops howling. Ah, all around me, people relax. They smile, they chat. I glide through, paying my bill. We all float out into the car park. Everything feels nice and easy. When we get home, I find that I've forgotten to get bread, jam, toilet rolls, milk, orange juice, tuna fish, and cornflakes. Dinner time, Eddie, I say, what do you want? Bins! says Eddie, I go to the cupboard. He was right. We have run out of beans. I say, uh, Eddie, I'm sorry, but um, we've run out of beans. No beans. And he says, beans, 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 beans.